Liu Yik Kit, 41, has become the first Singaporean charged in court for his alleged connection to a fugitive involved in a 3 billion Singapore dollars money laundering case. Liu served as the personal driver for Chinese national Su Binghai, who fled during the landmark case investigation and is now wanted for his alleged involvement in money laundering offences. On Thursday, 15th August, Liu was charged with two counts of allegedly lying to the police by claiming that his former employer had not left any valuables in his possession. In reality, Liu was in possession of four luxury cars belonging to the businessman, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Rolls-Royce Cullinan, a Ferrari F8 Spider, and a Ferrari Stradale. Liu is accused of subsequently disposing of these four cars at a multi-storey car park at BLK 20 Upper Boon Keng Road between 11 September 2023 and 5 October 2023. This alleged act prevented the police from seizing the vehicles, thereby obstructing the course of justice. Company records reveal that Liu was the authorised representative of a car rental company, Quality Limo Services, which has since had its status cancelled. Liu, who has not yet engaged a lawyer, requested more time from the court to consider his plea and seek legal advice. He was granted bail set at 15,000 Singapore dollars. On the same day, two Chinese nationals, former relationship managers at banks, were also charged. They convicted criminals Su Balin, Wang Shuming, Lin Baoying as clients. These three are among the 10 Fujian origin foreigners convicted and jailed for laundering illicit funds and other offences. Liu Kai, 35, a former relationship manager at Swiss private bank, Julius Baer, was charged with abetting one of the convicted individuals by using a forged document. Liu faces a charge of assisting Lin, the only woman convicted in the case, in submitting a forged tax document in November 2020. According to the police, Liu allegedly received various versions of the forged tax document from Lin before submitting the final version to the bank as a supporting document to facilitate the opening of a bank account in Switzerland. Wang Kimming, 26, a former relationship manager at Citibank, whose clients included Su and Vong, was handed 10 charges. According to charge sheets, in December 2020, Wang allegedly aided Su Balin in creating a false loan agreement to deceive Standard Chartered Bank regarding the source of a deposit made into Su's account. Wang is also accused of possessing $481,678 in cash, collected on behalf of Su Balin on 15 December 2020, for which he could not satisfactorily explain the origin. He was charged with laundering this amount. Between 19 April and 25 April 2021, Wang allegedly forged a loan document to deceive Citibank about the source of funds belonging to Vong Shuming, thereby facilitating the deposit of $999,980 into Vong's account. Wang faces an additional charge of obstructing the course of justice by deleting the WhatsApp application from his mobile phone on 12 October 2021 which could have contained communication records with his bank clients. The former Citibank employee was further charged with providing false information to an Immigration and Checkpoints Authority officer on 15 November 2021. He claimed to have lost his passport, although it had actually been surrendered to the Singapore Police Force. In court affidavits presented during the hearings of the 10 foreign nationals involved, investigators from the Commercial Affairs Department stated that they first investigated Wang over alleged forgery claims before arresting him in 2021. Wang's employment with Citibank was terminated in April 2022, according to an earlier statement by the bank. Liu is represented by a legal team from Li and Li while Wang is represented by lawyers from Anthony Law Corporation. Both men have not yet entered a plea, according to their lawyers. Liu was granted bail of 15,000 Singapore dollars, while Wang's bail was set at 25,000 Singapore dollars. The cases for Liu and Liu will be heard again on 12th September, and Wang's case is scheduled for 19th September.